You know, a few months ago when Mr. Lawrence called me into his office, I guess you could say I had the standard response. Uh-oh. <laughs> as I sat outside of his office waiting for him to call me in, my mind was flooded as I tried to figure out what I had done now. I checked myself for dress code infractions, and then I immediately started thinking back to the previous week, trying to figure out what I was about to be punished for. When he finally called me in, I saw Devin sitting at the office as well, and I suddenly realized that the punishment that awaited me was far worse than any of the ones that I had imagined. <laughs> I had been selected class speaker. So after a few seconds of shock and panicking, I realized what an honor it truly is to have been selected by such an incredible group of individuals. Four years ago, I never would have dreamed that I would have had the privilege to stand up here today and address the senior class. Think about yourselves four years ago when you first walked through those doors of Galileo. Acne, frizzy hair, glasses, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we were definitely prepared for high school, but whether Galileo was prepared for the class of 2008 is a different matter entirely. <laughs> We're adults now. Look at us. When did that happen? And how do we make it stop? <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind that our class has left a lasting impression on Galileo. And let's face it, we had so much of an influence that Mr. Lawrence and Ms. Lyles can't even imagine being here without us. So there we go. <laughs> We're the first class to graduate with all four years of the IB program. We've won almost every school-wide fundraiser and gotten to see Mr. Lawrence's infamous chicken suit probably more than we cared to. <laughs> we pie teachers in the face for pie day, and somewhere between being thoroughly denatured by Mr. Gibson's tests, arguing over which accessories Mr. Potato Head will have that week, and laughing about inside jokes during class, we've developed friendships that will last a lifetime. The future is a scary thing. I can look out at each and every one of your faces and see your mouths watering to get out of Dandel and just have a taste of the real world. But at the same time, we're all a little terrified of it. What are we going to do now that high school is finally over? What will college be like? What will happen to our friends? Regardless of the different paths that we follow in life, I'm confident that each one of us has the potential to succeed. And the great thing about success is that it's different for each of us. We define it for ourselves. <laughs> Whether it's an air and space student going on a mission with NASA, a biotechnology student discovering a cure for cancer, or a soccer player making his or her college varsity team, we all have the power to achieve that greatness. And that greatness may seem like a lifetime away, but it starts right now. From this day forward, I challenge each of you to achieve what you know you're capable of and to create the destiny you want for yourselves. It's in your hands now. There are no more guidelines or rules to tell you what you should and should not do. We make our own rules now, and we control our own fates. Scary, isn't it? You know, we're also caught up in the excitement of graduating, but it's hard to grasp that we'll all be going our own ways from here. I owe you guys so much, and it's such a sad thought to think that this could be the last time that we'll all be in the same room together. The people here, whether you love them or hate them, have all taught you something and impacted who you are today. And that's a lot to walk away from. This is goodbye. I'm proud to say that I've taken with me so much more than an education from this school. The staff here at Galileo stood by me when I needed them most and showed me love and support that I could only dream of from individuals who didn't have to care. These people taught me that family extends beyond blood and that angels are real. and I'll never be able to thank them enough. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that whether it's your friends, your teachers, or your parents, it's important to show them just how much you appreciate them. And most importantly, never leave anything unsaid. Tell them thank you, hug them whenever you have the chance, and tell them that you love them every single day. Please. These people aren't going to be around forever. <coughs> And the biggest injustice you can do yourself is wonder what could have been. At the end of the day, that's all that really matters. All the success in the world won't make you happy if you don't have the people that you love around you to share it with. Realize that each of these people has shaped you into the accomplished individuals that you are today. And that without them, you wouldn't be here. I hope that all of you will strive to succeed, but that your focus will remain where it's really important.
and that's in the people you love. You can't change the past, but you can learn from it and trust that your future holds everything in your dreams and hope. A wise woman once said, so just live, make mistakes, and have wonderful times. But never ever question who you are, where you come from, and most importantly, where it is that you're going. Well, it looks like we finally did it. To the class of 2008, congratulations. And I wish you all nothing but the best. Thank you.